It has been 24 years since 14 year old Nicole Smith was murdered in her southwest Atlanta neighborhood. CSI Atlanta is heating up the cold case with a new sketch of the killer done exclusively for CBS 46. Well, new tonight, Nicole's mom said the new sketch is strangely familiar. Here's CBS 46's Karen Greer. Aquanella Smith has spent nearly 20 years looking at a sketch of her daughter Nicole's killer, praying to God she'll find him. I'm not looking in the person's face. I'm always looking in their mouth, looking for that gap between the teeth. The 14-year-old was found raped and shot in the face by two security guards in a wooded area behind her Southwest Atlanta apartment complex. It was 1995. Nicole and her older sister were walking to school when she turned back home to get a school project. She cut through a wooded area behind the Deerfield apartments, but Nicole never made it home. I couldn't save her from this guy, but I can get justice for her. That's the dated black and white drawing shows a black man in his 30s staring blankly behind wire-framed glasses. But that's not how he looks today. The odds of him fixing the gap are almost nil, probably. Right. CSI Atlanta and CBS 46's crime scene investigator Cheryl Mack McCollum exclusively revealed this new age enhanced version to the public. It was carefully created by GBI forensic artist Kelly Lawson. So I have to use a lot of generalities when aging from a composite. It seems unfathomable for a murderer to have a conscience. The emotional toll could show in his face. You know, if he hasn't killed anybody else, he doesn't want to kill anybody else. He has a conscience about it. He's going to look older because he's worrying. The new sketch is in color and shows a bald black man in his late 40s or early 50s with a thin mustache wearing rimless framed eyeglasses. The gap in his teeth still there. We brought that sketch to Nicole's mom. Oh my God. It's just, it looked as though that I've seen this person before, but not knowing where I've seen him. I want death penalty for him. I want him to have the chair. He deserves the chair. Because he's taken two, two lives, mine, and Nicole. A witness at the scene 22 years ago told Atlanta police a light-skinned black man wearing khaki pants had just run off. In 2004, DNA linked Nicole's killer to the rape of a 13-year-old girl in East Point. GBI relied on the victim's description of her attacker to create the black and white sketch. It gave me a lot of hope. In June, Smith says officers told her they're using genetic genealogy to test the DNA. I just want some justice. Results may take up to eight months. This time, Young man, old man, whatever you are right now. Your time is so limited right now on the streets. So enjoy yourself right now because you will be caught real, real, real soon. Trust and believe that. Smith told me that it's only fair with the reopening of the Atlanta child murders that those same resources be used to find Nicole's killer. Well, I've got to call in to Mayor Keisha Lance Bottoms. I'm going to see what can be done. For CSI Atlanta, I'm Karen Greer. And for more on Nicole Smith's case and others we are investigating, check out CSI Atlanta, the podcast. You'll find us on the apps shown there on the screen.